No, can you, can someone grab my beer, please? Thank you. Ooh, what you doing? This one, two, three, one, two. I love it. Let's go. moment for a full year we've been anticipating it and we are here the movie came out as you probably know on friday so it's been two ish days of like avoiding the entire internet i haven't been on instagram youtube the internet google i have not been on anything because i have been wildly avoiding spoilers tiktok absolutely not been avoiding it i'm just so excited i'm also i'm just excited for the hype of it i mean it's like spider-man like this is probably gonna be like i think they've already said like it's already breaking records and it's been out for two days insane Whip. Whip, whip, nay, nay. I'm freaking out a little bit because when I get nervous slash excited, mostly for Marvel movies, I like have to pee a bunch. And like I just peed like two seconds ago and now I have to pee again. But like I don't have to pee, it's like a mental thing. And if I keep peeing, then I'm just gonna need to pee more. I should calm down, I should chill out. I have so much anticipation, so much excitement. We're going in! Boom! Spider-Man! like a cinnamon flavored Christmas tree right now. I had to burn a candle because one of my cats, I don't know which one, honestly I have no clue which one. And that's terrifying because I don't know who to punish lightly though. No animal cruelty, but like if it was her, we're gonna have some words, but one of them puked on my bed. And this is like the fourth time one of them is puked on my bed and I don't understand why my bed is the designated puke bed. No puke on my mom's bed, no puke. Sometimes they puke on the couch, which is like, okay. You know what I mean? That's free reign. That's everybody's ground. But I feel like when they puke on my bed so many times, it's a personal attack on my personal being. If you don't like me, just say that. I thought we were cool. They come, they sleep in my bed, we chill, we hang out, we have a good time. But then I leave to go do the dishes, I come back and there's puke and then they're gone. I feel like that's high level of betrayal that I thought we were past. It also makes me think about the fact that when I move out eventually, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be the one to take my two cats. They're the family cats, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm gonna be the one to take the two cats, but I also wanted to get like three new cats. So what if I just like have five cats by like 25? Because like, I wanna experience new cats too, but I'm not gonna betray. I'm not gonna be like the cats are to me. You know, I'm not just gonna go puke on them and then leave. I'm gonna take them with me to be bonded together. That's just what I think about sometimes. Everybody's doing last minute Christmas shopping. Christmas is literally in like today's Tuesday. Christmas is Saturday I don't know the math, but that's pretty soon. Honestly, I think I proudly to say was probably the earliest shopper I've gotten the main things for everybody. I just want to add a few things here and there I'm just really excited I feel like I've gotten some great gifts for my family this year and I'm excited for them to see it I'm excited for Christmas in a new way this year But I do think gift giving is definitely one of the forms of love languages that I like to give to people Not necessarily receive because sometimes gift giving like receiving gifts makes me a little anxious 
anxious because if I don't like it, then that's an awkward encounter. But giving gifts, I love because that's my way of showing somebody that I pay attention to what you say. I pay attention to what you do. If I see something, I'm thinking of you and I get it. That to me is so much better than like giving you a hug. That and acts of service. I feel like that is what I give to my family as my love language to them. We're not really like a words of a firm type of family. That kind of makes us cringe. But like acts of service, gift giving, I feel like we're really good at that. I think my parents especially have just been like really good at that. Cause sometimes they'll just like do like random things. Like my dad sometimes back when he worked in the city, he would just come home and bring like food home. He'd, like bring our favorite dessert. And he'd just be like, I brought dessert. And I'd be like, hey, he brought dessert. That's kind of how we share our bonds. Hey. Hey, listen, this time, this time get your grandma out to see. This time, you know what I'm saying? This time make you wanna move. Hey, why's it feel stand up? Hometown stand up. Let's get it. Hey, hey. What's up? Face on the left side, no man, it's my best side. Step into that west side. one to put stuff under the tree and we follow suit so i'm gonna be the second you know women just lead the lead the household you know what i'm saying so women first i'm gonna get to wrapping i'm so excited though because i have my cat wrapping paper that i showed you guys in like another video i just really hope i don't run out of wrapping paper because i only got two rolls of this and i don't know if that's it like i really don't think that might be enough what am i gonna start with what am i starting with right now i'm home alone that's why i decided to do this in the living room and also i decided that this vlog is gonna go up on the sunday after after Christmas basically Christmas will be over and everybody's gonna know what they got so I can finally share with you guys some of the stuff but I'm not gonna share all because you know stay tuned for Christmas morning to see some of the stuff <gasps> this is so cool oh my god this is a gift for my dad my dad decided that he wants to go vegan in the new year and he's like very serious about it he's very adamant he's already like trying to start so I was thinking of different vegan things to like get him because the two things that I know my dad likes is running and he likes Buddha like he's a Buddhist so he likes fragrances like incense oils bracelet like stuff like that but now that he's becoming a vegan i'm like oh this is a whole new ballpark that we get to play with i found this box of vegan snacks that he can try on amazon so this is one gift for my dad that i'm super excited about how do we freaking wrap i like when i tell you guys i don't know how to wrap i don't know how to wrap and sometimes i will let my mom wrap the gifts for me but like i don't want to do that because i don't want i don't even want her to know what i got my brother and my dad so i know what you have to do is you have to like fold it to like mimic and like 
you know? And then the other part should meet the middle. They're gonna know the gift is from me when it's wrapped terribly. But anyways, guys, since this video is going up after Christmas, how was your holiday? I know that, again, we're in a weird time. I'm trying not to think about that. I really hope that you had an enjoyable holiday. I really hope that you were able to see your family. I'm so scared to cut this because I don't want to waste paper. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, down the line, okay. I'm literally obsessed with this wrapping paper, too. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I did it too short, guys. Guys, 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 it's too short. Do you see this? Do you see this? Look, can you see that? It doesn't meet. <laughs> it doesn't meet. No, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. That just means we're gonna wrap a different one. So maybe this, this could work, this could work. This, this is really, that's too big for that. Oh my God, should I wrap this? Now I don't want to waste this. This could work. Fold again. Okay. It's like a weirdly shaped box. I literally suck at this. Oh my gosh. This is so disrespectful. I am disrespectful to this. This is... All right. One down. I literally cannot. I literally cannot. Oh my god. I'm really glad that I have a lot of energy today because it's actually like such a gloomy day. It's also gonna rain on Christmas. It's gonna rain tomorrow. So I'm glad that I'm not letting that negatively affect my mental health. I'm saying no to seasonal depression. I'm actually in a really great mood today, which is a big contrast from yesterday. Yesterday, I wasn't really into it. I was not very much in the mood, per se. And I don't know why. I think I've just recently, I've been just like getting into a lot of funks. I know the reasons, but it's like multiple reasons piling up. It's like kind of feeling like it's exploding. I probably should seek out therapy. And that is probably something that I'm I'm gonna want to do that just seems like so much effort but I know it'll probably help me in the end because my biggest issue when I'm like in a funk that I don't necessarily know who to go to because I don't necessarily want to like speak to my parents when I feel a little weird or like funky because a and this is no like thing to them I just don't necessarily think that they would fully understand and also they would try to help not that I don't like of course it's like I'm so grateful for like my friends my family that try to like give me advice and like help me out but like for the past few days I've just been in this funk where it's like I don't want anybody giving me advice like I don't want help I just need to like feel this and I need to be able to vent this out but like I don't want advice because like that's gonna make me feel worse because then I'm gonna feel like I'm, I have more stuff to do so I think I should Maybe I'll try better help. You know, maybe the influencers have influenced me and I will try better help. Because honestly, it seems like the most convenient thing. I don't have to go anywhere. I should really label this. I finished my book last night. I was reading Legend Born, as you guys know, and I finished it yesterday, which it did end up like I read 300 pages in like two days. And then I only had like 200 pages left, but then I started to like slow down a little bit. I think also because I didn't want it to end. Like I think I was like, Ugh. like I don't really want it to end. Because the second book doesn't come out until next year, November of next year. That's a while away. So good. I'm now trying to find a new book. And a lot of you guys gave me some really good recommendations under the last video that I did. I think I need some more. Like I'm so picky because starting a book for me is like a commitment. I just want to make sure that I commit to the right book for me. So I'm gonna tell you what I like in books and you guys like read something if you have a favorite book or if you have any recommendations for me please let me know so main thing it needs to be some sort of sci-fi some sort of fantasy that can either be dystopian I'm fine with dystopian they're not like my favorite but like I like diversion I read like the first Hunger Games book it wasn't really my vibe dystopian is fine not my fave though love vampires if you can find something with vampires I love like angels I love demons that sounds terrible but like I love stuff with, like angels and demons like that type of vibe love that love a good angel versus demon I just love supernatural stuff too but I also really love love triangles like oh my god I live for a good love triangle they are literally what keep me sane in the world and I never really realized 
how much I needed it in a book, but I need it. I need it. I need a good triangle. It doesn't have to be, but I love the cliches. I love a good good guy versus bad boy. I love a good like enemies to lovers. And then you got friends to lovers. I just give me a good romance. Give me a good romance, but give me supernatural. Those are like my top. And it also has to be a series. Because I don't really like just read like one book. I like to like attach. If you guys have any suggestions for me, any at all, I will literally take them into account. I'm ready. I I want to start reading. I think I want to start reading one book every month in the new year i want to make that a pact i know i could honestly do more the way that i finished legend born in a week i could honestly read like four books in a month however i don't want to make such high expectations for myself and then reading then becomes a chore or like some goal i don't know i just want it to stay leisurely and fun so one book a month but yeah leave your recommendations down below and also, if you guys, like if some of you guys were looking for recommendations, then go down in the comments and see what people are saying.
my presence is a present. I'm going to show you guys what I got because that's what we do. Okay, I'll start with what was in my stocking, basically. First thing was this ring. My mom got me this ring. She also got me these three face masks. This one I actually have used before and I like this one a lot, but I haven't tried these two yet, so I'm excited to do that. Maybe do a little self-care day. And then there was also this hard holder slash wallet. And then she got me some Chill House press-on nails. Other than the Kiss press-on nails, these are my favorite ones. I like these more for like special things because the designs on them are a lot like nicer and more unique she got me this book she knows that i'm into my self-help grind i'm into my mm, mental awareness journey this book is called you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life by jen sincerio okay so then the other stuff that i got this is from skims basically she got me a few of the skims bras kind of like sports bras but they're supposed to be really comfortable and i wanted to try them out i feel like skim stuff is pretty comfortable i feel like i sound so drained but that's because i'm honestly so tired this is what i got from my dad these are converse but they're like not ordinary converse he said that he got them custom made so they say bhs on them and then on this side it has like a bunch of different fonts that say new york on it they're chuck 70s too which you guys know chuck 70s is my favorite silhouette of converse i ride or die for a good chuck 70 and like this is something that's like so unique because like it's literally just my my name on a shoe. I actually cry. Like did I did I I don't know if I feel myself crying, but I cry. But that's also because I'm over dramatic. But it's also just like really nice. This is from my brother. He basically made all of us. Well, my mom and my dad got hoodies, and then this is a crew. It's super cool, like a full DIY. It has this little logo in the middle. And then on the back it says Alters, and this is basically like the start of his brand. So he made this shirt also. This wasn't like a gift, but he said like I could wear this if I want to. And then this is the design that he made on the back. It's just super cool. This is also from my mom. She got me this tote bag, but it's also made out of, I think she said it's made out of wool. So it's like super soft. Love a good tote. I think the last things are from Brandy. My mother and my father got me a few things from Brandy. I got this little crew sweater and it's like knit and it's super, super warm. And then I also got this knit sweater and I love this one also just because of like the varsity prep school vibes. They also got me these low-waisted denim jeans and like these look super cool but i just want to make sure that they fit i'm really hoping that they fit but if they don't it's okay everything is scattered that's why i'm like what else because i'm like looking around my brother's girlfriend got me this super cute mirror and it's like one of those like cloud shaped mirrors that are like so popular on like pinterest and stuff like that and i really like this because i am gonna be like redecorating my room like my room for upstairs and i want it to be more mid-century modern but i feel like this like fits a nice like mid-century modern vibe like with the wood i feel like this would look really cute like on my desk that was everything that i got this christmas though i was really excited to see everybody open up the gifts that i got for them i think i've been telling you guys that a lot let me show you guys the pot that i got my mom because i actually really like this pot i didn't know what it was gonna look like in person this is the pot that i got for my mom it's the our place pan but this is like the pan that I've been seeing all over like TikTok and YouTube and like every influencer has it and I'm just like this pan looks cool. I love the color like the pink color and I thought my mom would like this pink color. They have a bunch of different colors too. I probably look slightly insane because I just woke up from my nap. But I put back on my glasses because my eyes were hurting. And we're really not going anywhere. Last minute, one of my family members got COVID. So we can't really, like, go to my grandma's. We're going to go to my grandma's, have this whole, like, dinner with my family, a few of my cousins. But, like, now it's just, like, we're just going to have dinner here, like, the four of us. And then we're going to go over to my grandma's house and bring her some food. So that was, like, kind of like a little last minute switch. So that's why I'm, like... I'm not really like getting ready to like go anywhere or do anything like that. But I woke up from my nap. I didn't have one of my aunt's gifts in the morning when I was opening up my gifts. But I woke up and I just opened them. And I needed to show you guys because they're so cute. Okay, so the first thing was this little molten lava cake baking set. The molten lava cake, um, what's it called? The batter. I'm excited to make this. I like, I really like stuff like this where I can use it right away and like eat it right away. So I'll either make this for dessert tonight or tomorrow or something. I want to try it because I, I, I like some molten lava cake. And then she also got me some Essie nail polishes, which you can never go wrong with some nail polishes. But then I literally just cried again. My overdramatic, I'm just, I'm just too dramatic. I'm too dramatic. But she got me this 
And it's basically like, I think it's an advent calendar. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to open it for you guys and like show you my immediate reaction. But like when I unwrapped it and I saw the Marvel, I just cried. Anything Marvel related, I would honestly be happy with. Like honestly, if you got me like a Marvel sticker, I would cry. Take out all these socks. Oh, Captain America socks. I love socks too. Oh my God. I think it is supposed to be an advent calendar. I think you're supposed to be able to open it like this. So yeah. Oh, it is an advent calendar. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Because I just took them all out and like I just put them all there, but I took them out from the top. So I didn't even do it properly. This is so cool. Can I put it back in? Dinner is served. We got the cornbread pudding, green bean casserole, yams, yams, mac and cheese, Cornish hen, beets, all made by Chef Camille. Chef Camille, now give a round of applause, guys. Round of applause for Chef Camille. I'm still alive. Yes, barely, <laughs> barely. I got like a better without. You gotta show the world my vegan plate. See? That's my big Okay, plate. it looks like a good vegan plate. Okay. This is my non-vegan plate.